and welcome to Jolie Flips Vintage. I am Samantha, your host, and this is... I'm Adam. Adam. Today we have a treat for you. We are going to the Yellow Green Farmer's Market. And I know we usually go thrifting, so we're probably going to squeeze in a thrift store or an antique mall. We haven't decided just yet. Yeah, it, really it is already 1.30, there's really so... Yeah, there's a lot of people here. I used to go here with my mom, but the last time I was here was in 2018. And it's not just a farmer's market. I think they also have knickknacks and things like that. Well, they used to, but let's get in there and see what they have to offer. You need a physics degree to park here. <laughs> yeah, it was a little tricky to park. Um, only because I'm not familiar with how they do it nowadays. But anyway, so you take your ticket and you can park and then on your way out you have to pay with a card but if you want to pay with cash there's a special spot to do it i don't know we're just going to scan the barcode on the ticket and pay that way we are coming into the northwest entrance and this is it the yellow green farmer's market please make note we are in hollywood florida so let's go in and see what they've got i'm actually really hungry so hopefully they have something Okay, so let's go to the food first. Aw. <laughs> oh, they have water. What's this? Ceviche. That's always my favorite. Hi. You know, I might get some ceviche. It's fresh and yummy. Oh my gosh, la sazon manaba. What is it? Empanadas? There's more food, there's a whole lot. Ooh, oh my god, look at the um, mini picada. Yeah, this looks good. Delicious, yeah. Oh, that looks good. I feel like we're at uh, Epcot Food yeah. and Wine Festival, which we totally have to go to, by the way. Onion and cheese? Oh, look, you could try it. Go ahead, Adam. It's chicken. It's pork with bread. The vegan empanadas are, are gluten-free also. She said, you want me to show you? Yeah! Oh my God, I'm so excited. Gluten-free gluten -free. Are you kidding me? And that's all that is? Oh my God, let's try it. It has spinach. It has, um, oh well, can you cornstarch? Oh, okay. That's it? Because the bechamel sauce, it's vegan, but I use cornstarch. The bechamel sauce usually has flour, farina, and yeah, but, but you I don't did, use no, it. No, 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 no flour. It's the uh, cornstarch. I'm gonna get that apple soda, and then she, I got a uh, Argentinian beef empanada for my dad. We're gonna take that home. Oh, I'm, I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it's excellent. Great. You wanna be in it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Oh my god, this is actually so good out of the, the there's uh mushrooms and spinach in it, no cheese, all vegan, all gluten-free. Delicious. Where to next? <laughs> More food. Adam, what did you get at the Brazilian bites? Got meat. Beef skewers, Brazilian beef skewers. I couldn't have it because they said it was marinated with some gluten. But that's okay. Guess what we found right next to it? I'm turning slowly, Ethiopian cuisine, vegan and gluten-free options available. So let's see what options they had for me. You know, Adam, uh, Christy once took me to an Ethiopian restaurant. You guys, my best friend, took me to one in Orlando, and I actually love, I love Ethiopian food. Look how she's cooking. Mm. So actually, I just tried her coleslaw, quote-unquote coleslaw, which is more like a Caribbean cabbage chopped up with some apple cider vinegar. It's so good. It's a little spicy very little but it's she's not actually the ethiopian restaurant she is her own entity and so i got chicken and coleslaw and that's coming to me so let's grab that it's delicious Hey Adam, do you want to get your ear pierced? Are you sure? You could do it here. 
Oh, look at this. What about this? Good, hi. That would be great for Mike. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, right? Yeah. Check this out. You can't even get your hair cut right here. The Do Dominican Blades. You should. Not a like shave all your hair. Just get like layers. No? Let's check out this booth. See if there's anything interesting we want to resell. We want to flip. For a profit. He's totally rad. He's... He is ceramic it's probably really vintage oh they've got some thrifted items here look at this majolica elephant very neat i do like all that talavera let's see what they've got going on here hello it's us oh my god i love this frog he's so cute oh he's a um hey adam check this one out <laughs> he likes frogs. Look how cute. Should I get him? He's only $5. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick him up. This is like your neighbor, right? She has all those pots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Florida is definitely the place to be for Talavera pots. Look at this. Love food. Yeah, we do. We do love food. <laughs> so much food. Let's like go all around and then go through it, through it all. Colombian coffee? Wow, yeah. You might be able to find Cuban coffee too. Cool. Let's get a coffee for Adam. What's the name of that soup for Cass? Hangover soup. Isn't that funny? That's, that's what I needed in college. <laughs> Carne, chorizo and carne there. Oh yeah, I see. Adam just sees like anything that looks like a ribeye and he, he just goes for it. We have a YouTube channel. So this is going on. <laughs> oh, I like your wooden, I like your wooden cow. Okay, so we just went to the Toro Grill and we, I think that's what it's called. Like a bowl, bowl grill. And we got uh, meats with picanha, which is a style of steak. I believe and then we also got chorizo sausage and we got um yuca and french fries that are coming but at the meantime we're gonna try that awesome chicken and um coleslaw that we got from the lady earlier oh my god that is really good that's so so good delicious i put it away and i'm gonna save it for a little later but i want you to know that her booth is called wood fire kitch Check her out if you're ever here at Yellow Green Market. Blue. <laughs> what are you singing? Run down bar across the railroad track. A table for two. Way in the back. Where I sit alone. <laughs> I love you. Take a loser you. Have a neon what I'm looking for the sour sop juice or guanabana is the other name for it look at all the different juices Adam tamarindo juice 
Look y'all, Moringa leaf juice. Sheesh, Na Nance. Cool, I'm gonna come back and I'll get the sour sop juice in a bit. Should I get it now? No, no, I'm so full. My gosh, we've been eating since we got here. How much can we eat? How much more? So in 2018, when I visited with my mother, that was the last time I've been here, there was a lot of vintage boots. <laughs> Now it just seems like a lot of meat and perhaps Adam wants to try this too now. <laughs> Look at this, it's like, they're just chopping meat. Ugh. Look at this. Oh my God. This is what I'm trying to find. You see up there, that sign says, Bazaar finds, come hunt and gather antiques, collectibles, and more. So there's an arrow pointing left. So let's see what happens when we go left. Well, when we made the left, there's just more food. Just FYI, y'all, if you're looking for food heaven, we have found it for you. There, look at this crab house, Maddie's crab house, Tito's menu. He has frita a lo bestia, bestia. Pan con lechon, Cuban sandwiches, which are like my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh, oh, there's antiques. Oh no, it says antojitos, not antiquitos. <laughs> Over here they have cholados and and chicha, lemonade. You want a lemonade? Oh, Australian ginger. Whole pitted prunes that will help with your digestion. <laughs> oh my, oh, it smells so good. It smells like a Moroccan bazaar, right? With all the dates. All right. They got some peanuts and look at the market. I really am sorry if I'm causing any dizziness, y'all. But there's just so much going on. Remember when we went to Hawaii and we were trying the pineapple glazed pecans? delicious wow i love all of this stuff i think it's like indonesian art this one's great look at that what is she kissing a koi fish what's happening here oh wow fresh produce for days oh man i might need to get some tomatoes i think i need some tomatoes shallots oh the smell of the tomatoes when you're walking past that smells like my uncle tony's garden in montreal you know rest in peace he has passed away but he um always had such a beautiful tomato garden fresh pasta by the pound and cook it at home not gluten free no without no. gluten free not yet okay what we do is uh -huh. We have yogurt right now and yeah. gluten free to eat here. To eat here, okay, okay. Oh, that's good to know. If I didn't just eat so much carne over there, I would. Oh, look at the gnocchi, Adam. Should we get that for your dad? Oh, he doesn't like gnocchi. He's not a fan. I mean, who's not a fan of gnocchi? <laughs> We're gonna try the sauces. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, pomodoro. Red sauce. That's delicious. Pesto, yeah. Does it have pine nuts in it? Uh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Right? I think that fun. is so good. Yeah, How much is your... Good. Is there cheese in there, though? The pesto? No. Oh. No, there is. You know what? That's How much one. is the pesto? That's so good. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. That's delicious. I'll get that and make my dad some pesto waiting to get my sauce but I love that local honey and eggs so hometown I'm digging it you guys check out fresh pasta and Italian eatery Chattoria di Vakis V-A-K-I-S we have found the Ethiopian cuisine they're actually indoors well indoors underneath the the roofing here <laughs> vegan and gluten free but I will try them next time because I am very very full she's got some 3d toy pop art what else? Do you see any vintage atoms? I really like that bag. It's really cute. And there's the bows. They're singing Elvis. At least please telephone. Don't be cruel. To a heart is true. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Please forget my past. The future looks bright ahead. Oh, oh look at him. He's he's karaoke, I think. ordered my dad some curry goat and we will bring it to him we do eat goat it's very delicious here they have oxtails and rice adam is looking for a type of pie thing like a patty or some sort this is uh beef oh man beef and cheese so we ended the day here at yellow green market with adam getting an empanada from lorena from the very first place that has vegan and gluten-free empanadas i ordered two more and now we're gonna try to take you guys somewhere that's open because it is Sunday. We are so excited to have come here today. It was so relaxing, just fun filled, great place to be. And since we're in Hollywood, how about we squeeze in a little American thrift store? This sale today is 50% off of blue, red, and green. So let's see what we can find so we can jolly flip it. I do collect vintage candles and oh man, do I wish this wasn't so broken. Look at it for $3.99. This is so cool. He's just really broken. His nose is all messed up. This is kind of a fun little mesh bag. For when we, oops, let me get out of someone's way. For when we go to France. Look at this. And it opens here. Oh, let me grab this little thing for $3.99. So what are we looking for today? Nothing in particular. We're always just looking for items that will flip pretty quickly. And when I say pretty quickly, I do mean in about two to three months. So let's see what's the, in the back shelf right here. Just curious if there's anything new. And that is a very loud radio, so I'm going to talk very, very fast. Um, This is salt and pepper. But Ray Dunn isn't doing very well for me at the moment, so I'm going to leave it behind. This is kind of weird. It's $6.99, and I'm doing a folk art show soon, so I wonder. But $6.99, that is a weirdo. I'm not sure that I like that. That is strange, so we'll leave that. Um, I don't think I see anything else here that I'm interested in. Hand-painted by Nelson Louise. Okay. This is cool. It's resin art. It's a cutting board. Um, $1.99. I don't really see a whole lot of uh, value in that, but I, I do think that's really cool. I like resin art quite a bit. So let me see what else they've got going on here. This is an old music box, perhaps. Well, check this out. $14.99, though. Wow, let's see if it works. It, ah, it works a little bit. It's also a little box or an ashtray. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look this up. It's actually interesting. It's a powder box. It is Victorian, but it only sells for about 20 something dollars. And it's kind of a pain. It keeps coming off, but it works only a little bit. Like the music box, like turns on for one second. But so we'll leave that. There's this. And I wonder, hmm, that looks kind of modern. But we'll leave that. There's just a, seems to be a lot of people, so gonna be dodging a lot today Let's see that is monogrammed something this is made to look like copper but I think it's porcelain um, they want $7.99 for creamer it's cute but I don't think I want that I don't think there's any resale value on that whatsoever these kind of wood bowls can definitely sell this one's kind of weird it's like way too you know, carved out here and some modern from Ross, made in Indonesia. Just a little bit of a lower quality item. So we will definitely leave that one as well. So far we just have the little little purse. What is this about? These seem to be resin. I don't know. Yeah, they're resin. Cork cork stoppers. Um cork stoppers. Wine stoppers. Great. Sundays are generally not the best when you're here, when you're at any thrift store in this area. So I don't know what that is. That seems signed, but it also feels cheap at the same time. And that's a little 
hand painted chicken trivet. I wish that there were two of these for $14.99. It's just the one for $14.99. I do love Cloisonne quite a bit. This one looks a little modern. It has a modern sticker in the bottom and it's not as detailed as I would want it to be. It feels cheap too on my hands. So this, this is a gift, souvenir. I don't know. Um, there's a Lucite clock. I think I've picked this one up before. It's pretty yellow. Oh, it's really nice, actually. But, I don't know. I'm looking for higher quality pieces, so don't be surprised if I don't pick up anything today. Not every day is a win. Not every day is a win. But we look anyway, because things are always hidden. This would have been nice if it had a topper. Look at the style of that, $1.99. I wonder how old that is. I wonder what the top looks like. Probably beautiful. Uh, I don't want to just buy the base. This is a cool base. It's probably very modern. Yeah. Made in China, but I like the design. It's pretty neat. These little Southwestern style bases usually do pretty well for me, but uh, they want $4 for it. So I'm going to leave that. And here's another little pot too. And that one was signed by the way. This one is, has got something hanging from it. I don't know what that says. It is not signed. They also want $4 and they wrote directly on the matted part. So that would be kind of a pain. This is cool. I guess this might be to keep sugar in. I don't know, I have no idea, but they want $8 for that, no. I like this little folk art thing here. It's got a broken neck though, see? Otherwise, I think I would have picked them up for $4. It's, oh, it's actually, um, it's like chalkware. Is that Raku? Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, uh, see, well, that's a score. It's a Raku turtle. Is it Jeremy Dillard? Um, no. Yes, it is. Jay Diller. Recognizes stuff anywhere. This is a great pickup. So, see? Not all is lost. Grab that. I like this little sun pot. I think it's like leather. Oh, it's a candle holder. Oh, it might be, I don't know. It's like that. That doesn't feel like that's any good quality there. So, ooh, I need more Raku pieces. And I... I even said I, I want to find Raku, and so the thrift gods have spoken to us one more time. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you guys see it? Is that cut to clear? I think so. Gosh, we're going to have to hope that there's no issues with it. Cut to clear. That is excellent. Um, but I think that this is actually a cheap cut to clear. It's from Target. $1.99 and it's not the best cut to clear job as you can see so we'll leave that but that would have been cool if it was a vintage one like a check base oh I love that for $1.99 we're gonna pick up that lacquered little dish very nice that can go into the folk art show and then look at this this might be Italian maybe no it's actually just a project piece not just a project piece it's actually <laughs> cool but i just am not going to pick it up what about this this is crazy i forgot what it's called these little spots not really crystalline it's like a name for it i don't like it it looks like the coronavirus this is a cool platter wowie wows look at that that is made in mexico and it is ten dollars and i will definitely pick that up that can definitely go into market and it is 50 percent off so let's just make sure there's no chips or cracks and there are not that could also i could sell that on knickknacks also i don't ever pick up the leather bound animals i have them and i'm selling them but it takes a while to sell them i don't think they're as popular as we all want them to be seeing something that i would be willing to put into my folk art show is that like a devil pig though coconut <laughs> shells but the ears are all like yeah this is it's not broken the paint is cracked you know what it's it's creeping me out let's just go ahead and leave that
I'm seeing a latch key thing here. What is this? Whoa, this is neat. Let's see, you guys. Is that a bunch of Santas? What exactly is that? You know what? This is cool for $7.99. Let's see how clean it is. Latch key. What? Let's go ahead and pick this up. I feel like I could sell this. I like that chicken, but he is just too large and he's also $30. So we'll leave him. Let's hit up the um, shelves above and see what we can find. I like to look at all the baskets. There's always some treasures in between. I like her. I just wish she's got weird stuff on. Oh, maybe she had horns coming out of her ears. Oh no, I wish I knew where this was from, but she's kind of cute. I'll turn slowly. I am looking also on the other side as I walk because if I do it with the camera, then I'll be making y'all dizzy because I'll have to turn back and forth. I kind of like these bottles. Aren't they kind of unique? Um, they're like Italian bottles or something. Let me try to Google lens them. There's two of them. $1.99 each. Okay, so I'm finding a listing for $28 and they are vintage bottles. Let's go ahead and grab them. They're, they're nice. I like the aquamarine. That's cool. There, there are people behind me that just realized that they knew each other. <laughs> so they're all happy. That is the noise that you're hearing. What is that? What does that say? Oh my gosh, I gotta pick that up. Oak leaf. Black walnut. Kinda cool. How much is that? $4.99. Mm. The holes in the wood is kind of an attractive to me. So. Let me pick up that container. Yeah, bring you guys with me as I pick it up. <laughs> Sometimes if you just take a step back and scan the shelves, just from afar, you might spot something that you missed when you were up close. And I do tend to do that, something I don't usually show you guys on camera, but that is like one of the things, one of the techniques for finding stuff. And you just go to it. When you see it, you just go to it. This is kind of cool. It's a cool vest. Carol Horn Workshop. Hmm. I only sell for like a little under 20, so 49 even with the 50 off, I think. It's 50 off. I'm just I'm not going to pick that up. It's, the elephants are cool on it, though. I like this. I'm guessing it's Israeli brass. $6.99. Um, what? Made in Israel, yeah. Well, I'm going to leave it just because I'm not, like, super excited about it. It's really nice. Um, but I'll leave it. I have a lot of Israeli glass. I mean, brass right now, so. There's this glass. Oh, wow. What is this, you guys? These are candle holders. They are glass. Let me find Patricia. Patricia. Let me look this up. Okay, so it says Patricia. So I'm Patricia, which is an Italian way of saying Patricia. Um, and it's Jose Artesano, which this is alabaster. It's not glass. So when I look it up, I'm not really getting much information, but you can find this stuff on Amazon. So I'm guessing it's modern, but it's all broken here too. So let us leave that behind. Those are cool though. I only wanted $6.99 for it, but still. Here's another, oh my gosh. Oh, that's a Tanala. What's oh, a Tanala frog? Is it Ken Edwards? Well, oh, he's not chipped or anything. Okay, well that is score number two. They don't sell for high, but the frogs I don't have. $4.99 is a great pickup for him. So it's a good thing I didn't leave this. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't leave this aisle. And then oh, this is salt glaze with the relief pattern. Oh, that's so cool. We have some cool stuff in the cart. I did just dig through here with the camera off. Um, I didn't find any Lucite candles. This would be the section that you would likely find it. Um, in the baggies, but I don't see any here. So I'm gonna just go down this aisle here because there's some mugs. This is a princess house exclusive fine earthenware made in England. Are these people fighting or they're just really drunk and hugging each other? <laughs> the wonderful love of a beautiful maid and the lobe of a staunch true man. Oh, the lobe. <laughs> 
the love of a baby unafraid. It's written in like old English. So the V looks like a B. <laughs> are these Padilla mugs? Oh goodness. Oh wait, look what are there. These are great mugs. Look at that. I found Palomar Mexican mugs. These are worth something. It's, they're eight bucks, but I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna pick them up. They're kind of like those fancy mugs. Let's see if there's two more. No, I only found the two. Well, at least there's two. There's an even number of them, but um, I did find this Florida mug that's $4, but I'm going to pick it up because I need something to put my pencils in. What is this? This might be a tree topper, which is great. Oh, it is. A $1.99 tree topper? I like that. Like a beaded Christmas tree topper. Oh, $1.99. Let's grab it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and check out now. Also, on my way out, I just spotted this Prague Starbucks mug. It's huge. But it won $4 for it, which is fine. But it doesn't sell for more than like 20 bucks online. So, And then I just found all of these brass cups. But we'll leave those also. They're also Israeli brass. We hope that you enjoyed this video, especially the Yellow Green Market. I hope that you visit that location when you come down to Florida, South Florida. I know this was not the best thrifting trip, but we found some stuff. We found some stuff. And as always, if there's anything there that you see that you would like to purchase, you could always email us at jolieflips at awol.com. We don't bring every single item to knickknacks right away uh, just because my inventory is so large. So I just kind of curate my shows. Um, but there is a lot of information during the shows so if you ever pop in there knickknacks.net information in the description below um you can ask me a bunch of questions and um you know live and i will be happy to answer them you could also email me jolieflips at aol.com and you can also use the support at district which is the platform that knickknacks is on and they are wonderful they are so so helpful so all right guys we'll catch you on the flip side see you next time bye